Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to another Biss List. Today we're doing Prop Paladin Phase 2 stuff. Um, I have two Biss Lists I want to share with you today. One that's um, what I call Beef Meta, uh, which is the high stam set. And then I have an Aggro set, which is the high dam set. Um, I'm going to talk about these two. And keep in mind, with these two Biss Lists, I had an idea that this would be a realistic Biss that you could swap between these two sets very easily. I tried to make it so that when you pick out these certain pieces that you could gem and enchant one for aggressive and gem and enchant one for a high stam, and then you could easily swap them without having to worry about re-gemming a bunch of shit or re-enchanting a bunch of shit or just no, minimal headache, minimal headache going into phase two. Um, so with that being said, let's jump right into it. So first things first, tier eight is actually really, really, really good. Uh, for prop paladins, this set bonus, Shield of Righteousness can now increase your shield block value by 225 for that attack and for six seconds afterward. That is really, 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 really strong value. So much so that I didn't want to build a single list that didn't include four piece at any point. So you'll see with both of these lists, I've run double four, I've run four piece in both of them. I think it's extremely valuable. Um, for the set, we are getting Conk Head, which again, you can obtain from uh, Emblem, but you can also get off of Thorum 25. The best in the slot neck is going to come from Frey Hard Mode 25. These shoulders are going to drop from XT. You can get them on Normal on 25. The reason I really, really, really love these shoulders is because uh, Prop Helen is kind of down for hit in a lot of cases, and I think this is a very, very, very valuable and affordable place to obtain hit rating in phase two. This is a, just a great piece to go with as your off piece, even though the eye level is actually quite low compared to a, another off piece that might be a 252 off piece item. This is just a very valuable hit slot, but do with that as you will. Um, your best in slot cloak is going to be Titan Skin Cloak coming from Memoron Hard Mode 25. Your best chest is going to be um, Conk Chest, which again, you can also get from Emblems or you can get it off Hodier. Best uh, gloves are going to come from Flame of Iathan in 25 men. Now your best weapon is Sorthalus. Now this is definitely your best tanking weapon. This is going to come from XT Hard Mode 25 men. Now there's definitely a lot of flexibility here with weapons. Technically, you know, your best in slot weapon for damage is probably going to be a uh, PvP weapon, but that requires 200 or 2,350 rating, which there's not many people in the game who are going to have something like that. It's extremely unrealistic. And then even then, your best um, damage weapon is probably going to be Caress outside of the PvP weapons. Best shield is definitely Bulwark of Algalon, dropping off of Algalon. Again, we're going to go uh, Tear Gloves here, although huge shout out to Handguards of Revitalization. Revitalization. Um, you're going to want to get these eventually, either if you're running with a set that is um, uh, you know, not running four piece, or if you just want a set that's going to um, last you during progression of phase three, or just during um, your gearing of phase three, handguards of revitalization are not technically your bis in next phase, but they are damn near close to bis and will last you a really, really long time in phase three. So definitely hang on to these once you get them. Now, your best belt is technically indestructible plate girdle. It's definitely more stam, uh, better stats than the shield water, shield water girdle. This again comes from Emblems of Conquest, only 28. You could get this week one, but it's 59 hit rating. That's a ridiculous value of hit rating. That's super, 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 super good. A very affordable, good option to obtain here instead of going with something like Indestructible Plate Girdle, which is gonna be ridiculously expensive, knowing that you need six rune dwarves to craft it. I definitely recommend Shield Warder Although it's totally up to you, and if you have a surplus of hit, then you don't need to run this. You can go with the blacksmith crafted one if you choose to. Um, for legs, of course, we gotta go with tier legs. These come from Freya. And boots, our best in slot, come from Memoron 10 man hard mode. Best ring is gonna be Fate's Clutch. This is actually gonna be be uh, Biss through phase three as well, so definitely wanna get this. Um, your best ring is gonna be Platinum Band of the Ace here. Now, this is pretty flexible. There's a lot of really good rings, and you could swap between a lot of them. This one's probably going to give you the most um, actual tank stats. Although, of course, like Seal of the Betrayed ring King is going to be good for damn. Leviathan's Coil is actually pretty solid for tank. Um, even uh, Signet of the Earthshaker is good if you want a block value set. But this one's BOE, so you could purchase this one if you wanted to as well. So lots of flexibility on the rings, uh, of course. 
And then your two best trinkets, we're talking like a stam set, a beef meta set, definitely gonna be Heart of Iron and uh, Royal Seal of King Lane. And then of course with Librum, we're gonna go with Librum of the Sacred Shield. A new Librum from Vezax. Now let's look at the aggro set, the high dam set. Now again, just a quick reminder, this high dam set I made with the intention of being able to swap a couple pieces from that other set really easily so that you could easily run both of these sets in your bags, equip them, and just be good to go and blast on easy farm content bosses, but also be able to go with the high stam on something like Algalon on a weekly basis. Now the big difference here is I drop the hit shoulders and I put on conk shoulders because again, I personally want to maintain four piece at all times. So I enchant this with the you know, 40 attack power from Sons of Hodir and 16 strength. Um, same everywhere else except for weapon, we're going to go with Caress of Insanity. This comes from 10 man hard mode Yogg. I enchant that with Berserking, although you could use the uh, 25 hit, 25 crit one if you wanted to. I also use Leg Plates of the Endless Void. Now this is just a really, really good tank um, slot for legs. And I just straight enchanted this with, um, or slotted this with three JC Strength Gems. I just think this is gonna be great value because we swap out uh, the tier legs that had our um, Dragon's Eye Stamina Gems in them. So this is just really good value if we're just gonna you know, throw in some really, really, really strong strength and gain a shit ton of attack power from it. Um, and that's basically it. Other than that, we just have trinkets. Of course, I think Dark Moon card is going to maintain uh, it's your highest damage uh, trinket slot. Technically, Blood of the Old God is not your best damage trinket. Your best is actually going to be Dark Matter. But Blood of the Old God has 114 hit rating on it, which is really good. And the proc on it is not too shabby. So I prefer Blood of the Old God so that I actually maintain a decent amount, a comfy amount of hit. But it's completely up to you. If you wanted to get something like Dark Matter, if you ever ended up getting it, this would technically do more damn. So completely up to you on how you want to run with that. That's basically it, guys. I didn't want to spend too, too long on this as personally, I just want to give a big shout out to my boy Subtle FW. He did a bis list on phase two prop paladin stuff on YouTube. And I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. But he went over 10 different setups between Horde and Alliance Bis and uh, super high damn set. He talks about the PvP weapons and all that stuff. He gets really, 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 really deep into it. And I love it. So I'm going to leave a link to that below because I think he does the prop paladins the most amount of justice than I ever could. Um, but I did just want to provide my own take on it, my own you know, personal opinion so that you guys can maybe learn something from this. I do think that the two sets that I listed today are nice and cozy, something to easily shoot for, that maintains really good balance between uh, damage and hit and uh, maintaining your caps, but also just gives you flexibility. It's really easy to swap between these two sets, no problem uh, during um, farm. You also shouldn't have too much problem obtaining these things. Things like Blood of the Old God aren't, aren't too contested. Hopefully, at the it, by the end of the phase, you can obtain a caress if you're lucky enough. But at the end of the day, like these two sets are easy money, easy profit, and you're not really risking a whole lot by using a high aggro set like this. This is very conservative. You could get way, way, way more aggressive using more furious pieces um, and get resilience instead of defense. You could definitely get way more aggressive, but I just didn't want to provide that. Um, I think you guys can find resources like that if you chose that that was the best thing for your raid comp. And you guys know your raid better than I do, so definitely use your own personal judgment when it comes to things like that. Well, that's it for my speech. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. These two lists are gonna be linked in the description below if you need them uh, to reference them later. And I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.